Hey, welcome to Wartime Radio. My name is Officer Yuana Thun. Officer Nehemiah. Officer Aton. Officer Yuana Thun. Hey, we're on WPJM 800. Today's show is The Bible Needed Today. Hey, the reason why we bring out that title today is because a lot of people in our community, I'm speaking of the black community, think they don't need the Bible to know how to live. We basically go around saying, you know, we don't need the Bible to tell us how to love somebody, how to treat somebody. What? It's, so we think we think we good. We think we good. So I'm going to start off with a scripture that we normally start off with every single show to speak differently. Give me Romans 15 and 4. It's the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. Bring it out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So the Bible was written for our learning, so we must need something. Facts. <laughs> hey, we must need something because God said, if you need to be taught, that must mean you're slow. Read. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Because without the scriptures, there is no hope. Woo! I'll just make it simple. There is no hope. We're at the bottom of society. We're catching it all over the earth. Well, hey, our p- women are single mothers. Our, our sons are getting locked up in prisons. We have drugs rampant through the community. Where is the hope? Look, you got black on black crime. Black on black crime. All day, every day. Right. And what are we doing? Leaning to our own understanding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just what we <laughs> you got you got churches having Bible, Bible school teaching our black men and women, hey, look, go learn this. Come here, learn the Bible, then go to another congregation and, and, and indoctrinate them. Let me ask you a question. The dumbest when you was stuff. growing up, going to church, because I don't remember too much. <laughs> hey, was Sunday school full of adults or full of children? It was full of kids. It was full of kids. So what happened to the adults? Where were they at? They, shouldn't they be the ones teaching the kids the Bible? I don't know. Hey, you know what they were? They was just getting over the hangover from the club the night before. Mm. That's what it was. <laughs> so, it's like a little daycare for the kids. That was yeah, it. It's like a daycare. <laughs> Look, daycare. Sunday morning daycare for the old people to so, come and act up later on and give all their money. Give me Proverbs 3 and 5. <laughs> it's a daycare for the kids in the morning. That's what that's what that's what Bible study was. I, cause I used to like going because I know they had cookies and milk. <laughs> cookies and Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> For you to have a sugar crash, uh-huh. all praises, and go to sleep when the nonsense started. <laughs> they ain't never stay woke in church. Mm. Three. Book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. No, trust in your own mind. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Our people want to lean to their own mind. They don't believe in nobody but themselves. Mm-hmm. But what does the Bible say? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, Uh and lean not unto thine own understanding. Lean not to thy own understanding. Right. Because you know what our people understand? That people that look like them is their enemies. That their oppressors really aren't that bad. You know, still being in slavery today is not that bad. It ain't like it used to be. (laughs) That's what what our people look at it. It's not like it used to be. You know what? That's because that socialism stuff they pushing, they're not even identifying with our people, with themselves. Yeah. Right? Put it that way. Well, you know, it's a holiday that's coming up right now that our people are enjo- getting ready to enjoy. They got all the spirits. Songs are being played all throughout the malls. You got that Christmas tree in your house. You got yeah. gifts. You don't spend all your your rent money on your children's. 
You know, the rent man ain't going to get paid come next month. <laughs> Your lights might get turned off. All because, you know, you got that spirit of Christmas. You know what I'm saying? They won't say it. Love that thing. But they say that's when Jesus was born. Come on now, dog. You say that's when they say he was born, right? Right. They say not, that's when Jesus was born. No, that's not when he was born. Let's deal with that. We'll go and knock this Christmas stuff out, out the way. Let's go to Luke 2 and uh, 40. Let's knock it out the way. Are you trying to say that Jesus wasn't born December 25th? No, 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 the Bible said he wasn't. I ain't saying that. Oh, my goodness. I just agree with what the Bible says. So that's what that's I'm saying. Right. Yeah, but I'm saying it. Because the Bible said it. What, what? Are you telling me that the Negroes been leaning on their own understanding? No, they leaning on the white man understanding. Oh, that's, <laughs> who, that's who deceived them. Hmm. All right, Luke 2, yeah, 40. The book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 41. Bring it out. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. Mm -hmm. And when he was 12 years old. So they said at the they, that his parents, that Christ's parents every year went to Jerusalem during Passover, which is during the springtime. Hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, the feast of the Passover. Yeah. What is that? That is actually when we came out of Egypt. <laughs> Negroes don't know nothing about that. They don't Passover. even know nothing about that. You know, they, but they'll say they know about Moses. So it said every year, read that again, 41 again. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. So this was a custom, a feast that Christ's parents kept Every year. If Christ went with him, then Christ kept the Passover. Exactly. Oh. Read on. And when he was 12 years old. So when he turned 12. So he turned 12 around Passover. So that would mean every year he turned 1 through 12 up until that point. <laughs> and even after that, around Passover time, he increased in his years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was born in the so dead, of, dead of winter, like they try to say, December 25th. Exactly. exactly. Unbelievable. Hmm. And they out there celebrating Christmas, saying it's Christ's birthday. But, you know, they're doing it in the spirit, Bubba. <laughs> hey, hey we, what? Taught, we taught a sister yesterday who was arguing this right here, mm. who tried to say, no, 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 he was born on December 25th. Mm. Mind you, I asked her for the scripture that said it. Mm -hmm. Where in the Bible does it say then to worship get, Christmas? Then she got though. mad and started saying I was trying to talk over her when all I did was, well, it wasn't me. It was actually Officer Yana. Is is. She couldn't pull the scripture to say it. Then she was like, well, he talking over me. Bruh. <laughs> well, you know, this week we are the Grinches in purple. So I'm going to pull a scripture. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. So you, you know? saying the Grinch was trying to save everybody's life. The Grinch was trying the to save time. everybody's life. They, sure every, was. they put it out there for every kid to hate the green man. Right. And then turn around. He actually was right. Mm -hmm. Quit celebrating that mess. <laughs> right. Let's find out why the Grinch was trying to save you Negroes. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Bring it out. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. That's you so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. Read. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. The word heathen just means other nations. Right there, God started a division amongst his people and the other nations. He said, don't follow their ways. Christmas was not our way. These holidays are not our way. You know, like you celebrating Thanksgiving, the slaughter of 77 million Indians. You should be ashamed of yourself, calling yourselves Christians. You, you, you worship a day where Indians were slaughtered. Read. Learn not. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, uh -huh. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathen are always into astrology, you know, stargazing. <laughs> but God said, don't do that. That's wicked. Then they turn around and lie to you about the stuff. Right. Because they, you know how they say the little dipper and all of that stuff is up there? Mm -hmm. And then, they'll, then you know how you will see, you know how chariots been sighted all this time? And then they'll say that was a shooting star. Hey, you know, we got why, why ain't the little the... dipper stars moved out of their place ever? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you got our people who uh them center their whole life around their horoscope every right. day. Right. Talking about you can't marry this person or that person because you was born in the wrong month. Mm -hmm. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. And right. because you got an insect or uh or uh a fish or something that that's supposed to guide you. 
I, we, 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 got, we got a lot around women. They they done married somebody or slept with somebody because he was a Pisces mm. or Capricorn. Yeah, the nonsense. Who does that? He knock her out the and Negro. Put her to sleep. The Negro is a phenomenon in this. They done threw a left hook. No, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Why your your horoscope should have revealed that to you? Hey, read read that again. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. That's what I wanted out there right there quick. Customs. Christmas is a custom. You know, just like 4th of July is a custom where you're celebrating uh the Europeans' independence, why they had you in slavery, you know, you, you barbecuing and cooking for that every, every year. Getting your best little su- summer gear out. You know, God said the customs of the people are vain. Mm-hmm. The word vain means worthless, no value. Hey, that's a darn shame that, like, all, that all these holidays that our people celebrate today are against us. Yes, Christmas. We was the Christmas gifts. We was the we were the or- our heads was the ornaments. Right now is now they got little little plastic little balls they hang on there mm-hmm. now. But our heads was on- ornaments for Christmas trees. Bruh. Then you got Thanksgiving. We was slaughtered and our people celebrate that Fourth of July. We was in slavery. We wasn't free. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Right. Hey, read that verse three from the top again. For the customs of the people are vain. Now the Bible is getting ready to go into one of the main customs that he's speaking of. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. So one goes into the forest and cuts down a tree. What custom is that, brother? Christmas. Sound like Christmas to me. Sound like Christmas because I can't think of any other custom where someone goes into a forest and chops down a tree. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Read. They deck it. With silver and with gold. They decorate that tree with silver and gold. If you didn't think it was Christmas, you know it's now. Because there's no (laughs) other custom that you decorate a tree. Read. Nope. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. You know, it used to be a time where all the floors were wooden and they would just nail down that tree into the floor. Mm -hmm. Now we have tree stands and things of that stuff. So this is the custom of Christmas. The Bible is telling you in the book of Jeremiah, hey, hundreds of years before Christ was ever born, not to follow Christmas. Right. But, you know, the Negro don't want to care. They'll, they they'll care. celebrate Christmas, and this is, we reading about it right, right here. Like you said, hundreds of years before Christ was born. Right. So that would mean Christmas ain't got nothing to do with his birth. Not one single thing. And, and you, you brought up a point a minute ago where you said that, we were Christmas gifts. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's get that in Revelations. Is it Revelation uh, verse uh, 10? 11, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah 11, chapter 11, chapter 11 verse 10. Revelation chapter 11, verse 10. Bring it out. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them uh-huh. and make merry. They do what? And make merry. Merry Christmas. And shall send gifts one to another. They did what? Send gifts one to another. You know what used to be the number one gift for them? Was your little Negro sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. They would put a rope around your neck. They put a bow on your head and take you and drop you off to Master John. With a chain or with a, a, like you said, a rope around your neck. They got the, what? I can't remember that movie. With a little Edomite girl tugging on the darn little rope, skipping on Uncle Tom. Goodbye, Uncle Uncle Tom. Yeah, there you go. Our our children used to be gifts to their children, and they would have a slave for life, a servant for life. Read that again from the top. Book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. That they is your oppressor. The same people that gave you Christmas, they're going to rejoice over you, and they rejoice over you every December 25th. Every single December 25th, you are participating in the celebration of our people going into slavery. Mm-hmm. Read. And make merry. Uh-huh. And shall send gifts one to another. Read. Because these two prophets. Northern kingdom, southern kingdom. Read. Tormented them that dwelt on the earth. We, how did we torment them? Hey, they pay, we made them pay taxes. Right. See, our people don't even understand the greatness that we came from. We was on top at one point. Right. Rule in the world. 
We that's made other right. nations pay that's us taxes. Right. Exactly. Same way now we pay everybody else taxes. They was paying us taxes and beating. They got there and tell. You know, our people could never believe how we used to actually rule this earth. Because right now we've been at the bottom for so long. But I just want to give you the key to the rulership of the earth. If you ever decide that you want rulership back, <laughs> if you ever decide that you know you're just sick and tired of going to work, you're sick and tired of being at the bottom, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, <laughs> go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. <laughs> and we're going to show you how you can stop being sick and tired. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You mean if we listen to the voice of thy God and not to our own understanding? Mm -hmm. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. And to do exactly what he said? Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Set us on top? On high, above all nations of the earth. And then you can stop being sick and tired. Right. You can stop being at the bottom. You will be at the very top. Look, our, pe ship. our people messing around as you read that scripture. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Come they on sitting, now, dog. They sitting there about to cry. Come no, on, no, man. no. They saying, what is he no, talking no. about? <laughs> What is he talking about? I, I don't think it's a problem that that I that I got to work until my back hurt. Stop it. <laughs> Get some help. You know what I'm saying? That's, oh, hey, that that is. Um, I, I can picture the Negro doing that. <laughs> they don't understand. They don't understand what these laws and commandments is all about. Give me Baruch. Uh, what three and thirty six? They don't understand it. Oh shoot! I can picture it. I picture it right now. Unbelievable. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 36. He hath found out all the way of knowledge. That's what these laws and commandments are. It's all the way of knowledge. <laughs> hey, you all know the saying, knowledge is power. God gave you all the ways of knowledge, all the ways of power to rule this earth. Read. That's right. And hath given it unto Jacob, his servant. He gave it to Jacob, our forefather. Read. And to Israel, his beloved. He gave it to us. That's it. And we didn't want that beautiful gift. We Sitting said, there talking no, about no, some, no, 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 no. <laughs> Crying and slobbering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with our people, man. We get the greatest gift on earth. You know, God gave us all the ways of knowledge, all the ways. And we don't want to do that. We would say, you know what? I don't need the Bible to tell me how I supposed to love somebody, how I supposed to live. That's what <laughs> our people say. But then they'll turn around and say God spoke to them. Right. Let's, let's read a verse on the result of leaning to our own understanding, knowing how to love one another. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Yeah, this, so this is the result of, of not doing this, not keeping the commandment. All right, this is a result of rejecting his knowledge, saying, you know what? Hey, God, we've been down here on this earth all this time. We didn't need you. We didn't need your laws. We didn't need your commandments. <laughs> we leaning into our own understanding. My pastor said, my grandmama told me. <laughs> Read. <laughs> It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You children, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, most high want you to listen to this. Read. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. He said he got a problem with you. Read. Because there is no truth. There's no what? No truth. I should tell lies. There's no truth. That truth is the laws of God. That's the truth. Read. Because your, hold on. Because your pastors have taught you that you don't have to keep God's laws. It was nailed to the cross. Mm -hmm. but, the, you know, but matter of fact, let's get with sinners. Hold that. Let's get with sinners. Because we're going to find out why there's no truth. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Read out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So whoever commits sin breaks God's law. You know, those laws and commandments that he gave you for your wisdom, you're <laughs> breaking that. That's a sin. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's law. Now let's prove what the truth is. 
The one thing about this Bible is going to define itself, and nobody's going to be able to gainsay God's words. Mm -hmm. Your pastors can't do it. So if you're sitting around right now, listen to WPJM 800. Understand that the word of God is being taught to you. You are learning how you can come back in the rulership of this earth. You are learning how you can stop sinning against God. Read. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Read it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh-huh. And thy law. And thy what? And thy law. Read. Is the truth. Make it plain and simple. The law is the truth. So go back to Hosea. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Read it out. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Read. Because there is no truth. There is no laws. There is no wisdom. Read. Nor mercy. We don't have any mercy for one another. That's what happens when you uh, lean to your own understanding. Only person you care about is yourself. Ooh. You stop caring about your people. Why and that's what we've been taught as a people, though. Right. We've been taught, you know, to, uh, uh, I think it was uh, one person spoke about it. A dude in the world, a ball, the ball father, the mm -hmm. basketball sons. Right. And he actually mentioned that how black people have been taught to be that one. Right. Versus other nations. The Like, think about all these companies and billionaire companies. They just pass it down and keep it in the family versus black people. Nope. I'm that one going to make it out the hood. Ain't nobody else going to make it. Right. And that's how they do versus these other nations that are building empires. And he's, you know, and he's trying to, you know, at least show an example of that. But he mentioned that thing. Black people are so selfish. If you sit there and even bring up the state of your people, they'll be quick to say, well, I'm doing good. <laughs> right. <laughs> they'll forget Bruh. about the thousands upon thousands of their own people. No, they need doubt. They'll forget about their own brother or sister. Right. They doing good, but their own brother or sister is struggling. And they'll say, well, I'm good. Mind you, the rest of your family is struggling. Things ain't bad like it used to be. Because they doing good. <laughs> right. Read. Nor knowledge of God in the land. Nor knowledge of God in the land. We don't know God. We don't even, we don't, don't know Christ. He ain't in your heart. He, you know, you ain't got no personal relationship with him. You don't even have a relationship with your children. But you got a personal relationship with God. <laughs> Our people need to stop with the foolishness. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? Get some help. Get some help. That's what you need. You need some help. That's a cold, you got, you got that's a cold point, man. And that, that, that's a cold point. It's, uh, you ain't got no personal relationship with God. You ain't got no personal relationship with your kids. Right. Hey, they're that's delusional. Because that's true. Right. They're delusional. They'll argue you down they got a personal relationship with God, a personal relationship with Jesus, as if Jesus was in their bedroom just telling them, you know, this, you know, you are all right. I like you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, you, you a good person. While they sitting there hoeing and, and getting high and getting blamed. Oh, yeah, yeah, like Jesus was smoking blunts with them or something. <laughs> Bruh. Come on now, dog. Read. Oh, shoot. By swearing. Uh-huh. And lying. Read. And killing. And what? And killing. Killing. Boy, we know we're quick to pull a gun on each other. We'll shoot each other down. <laughs> like it's the wild, wild like west. Like it's around. the wild, wild west. <laughs> but our enemy is shooters, and we'll be out there with a picket sign. Talking about I'm a Black man. Li Black I'm lives matter. Right. Black lives matter. It don't even matter to you. It don't matter to you because if it did, you would have heed to Deuteronomy 28 1 and go into the rulership of this earth. But That's you know what? Right. You don't want rulership without your enemy sitting there being beside you. And your enemy looking at you saying, what? You want me to share the kingdom with you? <laughs> I'm going to take it again. It is. <laughs> That's what your enemy always going to say. I'm going to take it again. <laughs> Read. And stealing. And what? And stealing. And we know you like to steal. If you say you ain't, I ain't never stole nothing in my life. I guarantee you, you probably got somebody else's man right beside you right now. Dang. You got somebody else's <laughs> woman right beside you right now. You talking about I ain't never stole nothing. Uh-huh. Thinking you talking about some cookies and crap. Yeah. <laughs> My people are some thieves. Read. And committing adultery. So guys, see right there, he just let you know. Y'all some adulterers. <laughs> you some adulterers. You don't care. You sleep with your you'll sleep with your husband's brother. Who does that? The Negro. Read. <laughs> they break out and blood touches blood. Black on black crime. God say you got a problem with you because you hate yourselves. Matter of fact, it was said that a long time ago by one of the most famous black men of history. Let's roll that beautiful green footage of Malcolm X. Bring it out. <laughs> Who 
taught you, please, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate, you should ask who yourself who taught you to hate being what God gave you. Ooh. Woo! That thing there was heavy, man. Hey, I want to hear it one more time. We want to break this thing down. Get to it one more time. Malcolm spoke the truth who right here. Who you, please? Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate who your hair? You hate Stop right there. Who taught you to hate your hair? When the Most High gave you the same hair that he got. <laughs> most, but most black people don't believe that. That Most High got that beautiful nappy hair. Oh, shoot. We let's need to let's read get that. that. Thing. We need to read that. Bring it out. We need to bring that out. Nah, that is a heavy point. Because our sisters definitely go out here and put a wig on their head. Put weave in they got down her, her try and be like uh uh like they oppressors and then swear up and down they fine. Ugly they, in the That mug. beautiful hair, if they left it alone, <laughs> it would grow That's up towards God. Ugly. But they put it on crack and it just fall down. <laughs> the crack they that talking they about they the perms. Good. Just so just, just so y'all don't get simple. The crack he talking about is y'all putting uh, perms and stuff in and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> put their, they put their hair on crack. And they can't get off of it. Well, then the cracks seep into their brains. Now they can't think right. straight. Now and they got cancer and all kinds right. of stuff. Dang. Just like, hey, but hey, that, that relaxes is a drug. They don't even realize it. Yep. Can't get off of you. A lot of y'all out there hooked so bad that you, your hairline went to your back of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. Read it I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. That's God, if you didn't know. He the Ancient of Days. Right. And you know what? It didn't say he was like a puff of smoke. It, it said, said he was sitting, sitting down. <laughs> he got a body. Stop lying to yourselves. Stop listening to these fairy tales that your pastors have said. Open up the book of the Bible and read. That's God right. has a body. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. He had clothes on. You know, you can't put clothes on a puff of smoke. No, nah, the clothes just fall through the smoke. Right. <laughs> he had beautiful white garment. Read. And the hair of his head like the, the pure wool. The hair of his head was like the pure wool. Yeah, come That's, up at that darn nonsense. Because you know how it just said the hair of his head. Not, so not ma- her he's head. He's a man. His <laughs> head. <laughs> Hey. You get these darn, darn uh, brothers shooting game to these women talking about you the queen, you right. the god of the earth. Hey, stop it. Y'all need to quit this stuff. <laughs> women walk around here <laughs> thinking they done birthed yeah. everybody on the planet. Everybody come from them. No. Come from the man. It's that God is, is he's a man. It's a his head. Hey, the God of the universe is a black man. Right. That's right. <laughs> and y'all, he, he gave you the hair just like him. Pure, the beautiful pure wool. As a matter of fact, the definition of wool hair is hair of Negroes. Right. He made you and created you in the image of himself, and you turn around and hate yourself. Dang. That's what's going on now. You hate yourself. Oh, you goodness. hate your hair. You hate your skin color. You hate your lips. You hate the beautiful that you are, and everybody on this earth want to be like you. Woo. Everybody on this earth want to be like you. They want your body. They Woo. want your shape so much that they get implants, uh, fillers. The, the injections and right. stuff. And what are our people doing? Our people going the opposite way. G- give me that Proverbs 331. <laughs> they, they going so opposite. You literally get out, you get black women bleaching their skin, right? Right. So they'll bleach their face. Right. I, I but go then to, the rest of their body is a different color. Right. I go, to work, I go to work every single day, and I swear I'm thinking there's a bunch of little troll dolls running around with purple and green and red hair. I'm like, who, who let y'all out the house like this? Where is your mama? Then they bleach their face, all this right here. Be light in the mud, but then you look at the neck and stuff. How you gonna the be neck t- and the hand black <laughs> as black as the pavement? It don't even look right. 
<laughs> how tall are these women that this red hair and orange hair and green hair look good? Shoot. Ain't no man <laughs> like ever told you that that look cute. Hey, look like some Skittles. Hey, it said they got a picture. Hey, yeah. look. Hey, you know how people say that? You know how our people they be walking around talking about? You know what? Hey, Christ, he was all colors. Right. Our sisters literally trying to make that goddamn thing happen to most themselves. <laughs> Pull up a picture, bro. That's them. That's that's, that's that's what I see every day at work. Little God. troll dogs just running around. The hell is this? Oh, <laughs> hey, that oh, moment. Man. Stop it. <laughs> Cut that nonsense out. <laughs> Read that oh, Proverbs. <laughs> the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Uh-huh. Envy thou not the oppressor. Don't envy your oppressor. Stop with the nonsense. The oppressor, God said to have blunt hair was a curse. To have pale skin was a curse. Right. Read. <laughs> and choose none of his ways. Now, some of their ways. Choose none of his ways. Now, they like them blue contacts. And choose <laughs> none of his ways. Don't choose none of the ways of your enemy. Hey, with that, we're going to take a break. Be right back. This is WPJM 800. This is Wartime Radio. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Welcome back to Wartime Radio. This is Officer You Want to Thun and WPJM. Hey, this is this segment, man. This thing is hot today because our people think they don't need the Bible. But you know why we need the Bible? Because, matter of fact, give me Psalms, uh, my fault, give me 1 Peter 5. Uh, what, verse 8? The book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. Freedom. Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. That's the reason why we got we need this Bible. The Bible gives you all the knowledge and wisdom on this earth, because your adversary never stops. Your adversary got you hating yourself. Please play that video one more time on Malcolm X. Get me in the spirit. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate, you should ask who yourself who taught you to hate being what God gave you. Hey, you know what? I'm going to say this right here. Before you come and say IUIC teach hate, you should ask yourself who taught you to hate yourself. Right. Because that's what they love to try to say about us, that we teaching hate. We teaching hate, but then... We making people, we actually teaching our people to get married. <laughs> Look, the man and the woman to get married. Not right. man and man, not woman and woman. Right. We Ooh. actually teaching righteous marriage, righteous families. Because I'm going to tell you right now, getting married, taking care of your family, instead of whoring out that woman, that ain't something we've been leaning on. We've been leaning to be whoremongers. Yeah, because that, that's what they pushing in the neighborhood. Like you said, right. who taught you to hate yourself? And then you'll turn around and then do all kinds of nonsense that you're watching on TV that's being pushed in our community. And he said, in, in the video, he said, who taught you to bleach your skin? Yeah. In, in your hair and right, everything so it, else. So if, so if you're bleaching your skin, who are you trying to look like? Trying to look like you're You ain't oppressive. trying to look Chinese, I'm going to tell you that. Trying to look like you're hey, But like, like the title of the class says, like the title, Do We Need the Bible? Let's get a Daniel, Daniel 7 and 25. I'll bring it out. Let's go Daniel 7 and 25. 
because right now our people are, are being taught you don't have to keep the laws they starting to come up with this uh with this universal church right and all this crap that's about to come out or whatever they trying to do that ain't gonna enforce or make sure you learn anything about god read that it's the book of daniel chapter 7 verse 25 Bring it out. and he shall speak great words against the most high you know what let's celebrate christmas and hey, let's right. push all these commercials now they got it all in your stores where you walk in, in stores and you find yourself singing a darn song. And you're like, what the heck? <laughs> they, you, know what I'm <laughs> you know what? They say um, nobody knows what Jesus looked like. Yeah, nobody knows what he looked like. But somehow they all agree to paint the same image and put it everywhere on the earth. Right. So if you ain't know what he looked like, why would you give him an image then? You know, how you how they going to say the earth is true? You would think it would just be different images. You know, he looked like this. Because, you know, he said he could be red, black, and green. I ain't never seen a red, black, and green Christ anywhere. All I ever seen was that long, string-haired hippie that they got <laughs> running everywhere throughout <laughs> this earth. Every movie is looking like that. Yep. that hey, you be like, the first thing the Negro say, that's Jesus. Yeah. No matter who playing the part. Man, we was a man, had a darn kid yesterday say that the, 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 the true image of Christ is the devil. Bro, <laughs> like, like, and I mean, like, said it like three times in a row. Like, come strong, on, now, like, dog. like we was out of come work, on, man. man. Read that again from the top, straight through the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. Bring it up. He shall speak great words against the most high, uh huh, and shall wear out the saints of the most high. Now, we in slavery, we worn out, we so worn out, we want to be like our oppressor, read and and think. To change times and laws. Now all these different laws and things that they are passing, now they are allowing our uh they're allowing people to change their sexes on their birth certificate. Madness. Madness. Like to where you could be born something else and you could just say, Nope, I don't identify with that. Today, I want to change myself into being a woman and just do that. Right. What? Read on. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing of time. So there it is. And that's why we right here in slavery still to this day. And all these things are still continuing to happen to our people. And we act like it's just not how we completely oblivious to what's going on with our people, to what's being pushed on us every day. Straight loss. You got something, officer, you want to bring up? Yeah. Um. Let's get to go along with officer said. Go to uh, Revelation chapter thirteen verse seven. It's the book of Revelation chapter thirteen and verse seven. Bring it out. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. So what did the white man do to us today? And you wonder why we need the Bible. Read. And to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds. So who was he overcome? And who was the kindred that he was overcoming? Us. Giving us these false false images. Just like officer was saying in uh, Daniel 7, 25. He, and, and read the top part of that verse again. And he was given. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. And it was given unto the white man to make war against us. Mm -hmm. the, the the so called black Hispanic and Native Native American right. right wartime radio and to overcome them <laughs> to overcome us that's what it's talking about to overcome them the them is us black Hispanic Native American right and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations so that means he goes throughout the world doing whatever he wants right that's why he got military all over everybody else's place because power was given to him right to, to do what to wage war. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. Give me Job 9 and 24. It's the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Bring it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So that power that was given to uh, the so-called Europeans, God is saying what? Read that again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Most High calls them the wicked. Read. Mm -hmm. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. We were supposed to be the judges of this earth. We Woo. were the ones that supposed to be ruling this earth and judging this earth in righteousness. Mm -hmm. But Woo. now they say it's the so-called Jewish people. They're the chosen. But it's really you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the chosen people. You That's are right. supposed to be the judges on this earth. And the main judge is supposed to be Christ the King, right. the right. black Messiah. 
but they <laughs> made him into a bl- uh, blonde head hippie. Read. If not, where and who is he? If the white man ain't the wicked, where and who is he? Because I'm, he's the only one I see ruling this earth. Right. He's the only one got militaries in everybody else's land. Right. Ooh. And let's find out what does he do with that power. Give me Psalms 58 and verse 3. Bring that up. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 3. Bring it up. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Uh huh. They go astray as soon as they be born. Uh huh. Speaking lies. They do and what? Speaking lies. Hey, it ain't in their nature to tell you the truth. <laughs> right. It ain't in their nature to tell you the truth. But oh, our people man. sit there and listen to everything that they saying as as if it's God given truth. That's why our people voted for Biden. Right. He sat up there and told them all these lies, and now people, you know what? He gonna he gonna watch out for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, 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 hey, read it again. Right after a, a Biden speech, they had a shootout. Yeah, right yeah. After he spoke. <laughs> right. Has Biden did anything for you yet? No. You you laughed and clowned Bush. I was not Trump. Right. At least Trump was cutting you some checks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he was at least telling you what he was going to do. He was like, look, I ain't doing nothing for y'all. At least it Trump was cutting is. you some checks. <laughs> but with this clown we got in the White House, is no different than all the rest of them. Right. It's no different <laughs> now, than all the worst. rest of them. He the worst. He the worst. You can say he fall up the steps. Yo, how you fall <laughs> up <laughs> the steps? Who you know does what I'm that? Hey, <laughs> read that verse again from the top. The book of Psalms, chapter 58, verse 3. Bring it the up. wicked are estranged from the womb. They can't even fall out without being wicked. <laughs> Read. They go astray as soon as they be born. Hey, as soon as they born, they, they go to the left. Cry. <laughs> they lie, <laughs> they cry. Look, they look so they crying, they ain't really hurt. Right. right, right. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with them. Read. As soon as they be born, uh, speaking lies. As soon as they first come out, the first word they come out their mouth is a lie. It's a lie. The <laughs> first <laughs> word come out their mouth is a lie. And we oh, said they're shoot. trusting in lies. We trusting in them lies. Matter of fact, give me that uh, lim- limitations four seventeen. <laughs> Our people, we gotta wake up. The Most High is calling you back. Come on home. Come on home. You've been lost sheep running around trusting in your enemy. Look, must oh man. They, they oh man. They they look, we can't say certain words. I can't even I don't even know what words to say. <laughs> Cause they try to ban everything. Look, look, right. look, they even make laws to where you can't even say certain now mind you're supposed to be freedom freedom of speech, Speak right? Yeah, but then us. that's that's a lie. That's because if us. you say something, then they'll shut your darn channel down. Then they want you to get it though. Yeah, and the word is in a dictionary. <laughs> Come on now, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. As long as you line up for it and get it, you are good to go. Right. <laughs> but if you but say no, that but look, word, but if you line up and get it, <laughs> right. Look, in a few months, it ain't even gonna count that you got it. So you gonna have to go get two more. Right. If you know what we talking like, about, you know what I'm saying. Damn, yeah. unbelievable. I had to think Don't of the word. I'm like, I don't even know what we can and cannot say right, no right. more. <laughs> Every week it changes. Right. Look, think about it. That's how you know he the wicked. When he sit there and wants everybody to go get the <laughs> But you, you can't, can't say, say the word. Right. <laughs> right. What? what type of wickedness is that? <laughs> Read. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. As for us. Our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Uh huh. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So going to get the job is going to do what? Cannot save it us. He ain't going to save you. Nope. If the Most High wants you sick, you're going to be <laughs> sick. Thank you. If he wants you dead, you're going to be dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You best believe Ooh. that. <laughs> You can't run oh, from it. Man. You can't hide from it. The most I see you everywhere. He see all your wickedness. He see all the things that you do. Look, they don't look ass because they, they don't want you to put that stuff out there that's really happening. People dropping dead like a mug. Dropping straight they dropping dead. dropping dead in comas. It, it's a famous singer now. He in a coma. It, uh, it's a car singer, matter a Northern Kingdom singer. Mm-hmm. Now he in a darn coma after that mess. Hey. <laughs> Check this out. If you want to live, if you want to live, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a verse on how to live. 
Give me Ciroc 19 verse 19. Oh, man. That is funny. That is unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. The book of Ciroc, chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Read that again. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. So if you really want to know how to live, keep the commandments. Right. That's the doctrine of life. That's what's going to save you. Read. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Oh, if you keep these laws, you're going to get the tree of immortality. That's right. You're going to get the tree of life. You're going to get the kingdom. Ooh, why didn't he teach me? Man, the, the, first, the first thing our people going to ask is, well, what about the white man? What about him? What about not, him? not about themselves. Right. They ain't even worried about saving themselves. They just want to save their oppressors. I always want to save And if they ain't oppressor. involved, they say it ain't. You know how to, white is right. I'm going to take the oppressor <laughs> to the kingdom with me. I'm taking him with me. Give me, hold, give me yeah. Isaiah 14 and 2. I'm taking him with me. Somebody got to do the work. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the white man with me. I don't know about y'all. I'm not going to be me. That's right. I'm taking him with me. Read. <laughs> and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. I need some possessions. They're going to be my possession in the land of the Lord. Read. For servants. That's what they're going to be. And mm -hmm. handmaids. I need some handmaids. <laughs> and they shall take them captives. I'm going to do what? Take them captives. I got to take them captives. Whose captives they were. Uh-huh. And they shall rule over their oppressors. I need some rulership. <laughs> I need some rulership. <laughs> I'm tired of working, bro. I'm tired of working. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, let's, hey, go to Ephesians. That was it on that? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, go to Ephesians 4 and 6. Because this is, this is what's going on, man. Our people, hey, y'all have been deceived to think you don't need this Bible, that you don't need God's laws. You've been deceived as to who you are. Right. They tell you you the Negro, you the African American, you, and everything else, but they don't tell you you're the people of God. So that's why this was warned. We was warned about these different things that was going to come up on us. Read this. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Read it out. One God. No, five and six. I'm sorry. Five and six. Book of Ephesians, chapter five, verse six. Bring it out. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Because that's they they lying all the time. All the time. It said, don't believe nothing. Read. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. So if you go along with them, God is calling you the children of disobedience. So by following their deceivable ways, their vain words, God said the wrath is coming up on you because you are a child of disobedience. Read on. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Don't be partakers with them. Right. Don't be partakers with them because the wrath of God is coming up on them. And if you with them, it's coming up on you. Man, unbelievable. But our people read the Bible all the time and don't mm -hmm. know, don't, don't, don't put two and two together. Hey, bring out that article on them trying to keep you sleep. Yeah, that does. Uh, that it's stay woke. Hey, right. hey, hey, stop. Your enemies stop. pass stop. laws. Stop. Hey, that's why we call this wartime radio. Our people think that there's not a war against them. Your enemy pass laws while you sitting there on your couch. Look why they give you the stimulus check. Right. And, and then you go spend it on Christmas gifts. They passing laws where your behind go to jail. Mm. Well, they can sue you. They ain't going to say go to jail. At least not yet. They ain't put in jail yet. Mm -hmm. You got hey, that? Hey, give you a, yeah. What give you got, the, Hulk? You give got, me the stimulus check and what you call that? You, you the, jab. Yeah. the jab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give you a stimulus check and the jab and then tell you you can't go nowhere. Right. <laughs> hey, read that article. DeSantis introduces Stop Woke Act. <laughs> the what? Stop Woke Act. Act. Now, this title, you know that's aimed at Israel. We're trying to awake you, and they're trying to do the Stop Woke Act. <laughs> if you think this is not aimed at the Israelites, hey, you in, you still sleep. They say you on the rock. You man. still sleep, and, they, and the Stop Woke Act already worked on you. Dang. Read that. 
Governor Ron DeSantis is targeting the teaching of critical race theory. The critical race theory. That's the new thing on this earth today. Hey, man, hey you got that because you uh, got a little knowledge on that. Yeah, so the critical race theory that they're talking about. So it's saying that you can be sued if you're teaching the critical race theory. Now, critical race theory is what they used to teach in school about how racism shaped America. Right. How slavery really happened. And how the fact that white people put black people in slavery. Right, <laughs> right. So they're telling you if you teach those things, if you even talk about like redlining mm-hmm. on how the banks wouldn't even give black people loans. And mm-hmm. they still don't give you loans to live in certain areas to buy homes in certain. If you teaching that, you can be sued. Right. Like, what? You teaching black Wall Street. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, Bro, now you, you can be now you can be sued. If you teaching the trail of tears, right? So you can't teach civil rights movement after a while. No, right? No, you can't. Black history, right? You, you can't talk teach about that, that. Wow. because that shaped America. Wow. But continue reading this article, because we don't want you to think we making this up. <laughs> Governor Ron DeSantis is targeting the teaching of critical race theory in Florida by introducing the Stop Woke Act, which will give parents the right to sue educators. Teaching critical race theory is already banned, I mean, barred in the state. You actually think that black people. It's a shame they call it stop woke. You actually think that (laughs) black people are going to be the ones suing because our history is being taught? No, that's aimed at white people trying to hide the truth from their children that their ancestors were wicked. That's it. And 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 like you said, go ahead, officer. And they noted that slavery and this Bible will wake our people up. Yeah, so right. they call it Stop Woke. Right. Unbelievable. Continue reading. Speaking at a press conference in Sumter County on Wednesday, the governor blasted what he called growing woke ideology. The growing woke ideology. Why, where do you think that's coming from? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because the Israelites are out there on the streets in yep. every corner in the United States, all over the earth, wakening their people. That's what we've been doing. We're waging war against the enemy, teaching them the truth, teaching our people to love one another, come back and keep God's laws. And now they're actually passing laws to try to stop you from being woke. And it's saying that parents can sue the educator. Right. Right. Now, you know, when the parent has a complaint, they're going to get a lawyer. And when a lawyer ain't going to look like us. Nope. And they are going to attack the educator. So all of this, and then, but then eventually, this is going to go from the classroom to the streets. To the streets, to your churches, to anywhere that black people are trying to educate their people, you're going to be attacked. Hey, they don't make any laws without you being a target. That's it. That's why they call it Stop Woke. Read. And called the Stop Woke wrongs, wrongs to Our Kids and Education act the first of its kind in the nation. He added that he views wokeness as a form of cultural Marxism. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, being woke is evil to them. (laughs) It's hatred. It's hatred. Because you know what? It grieves. The Bible said keeping the laws and commandments grieves the enemy. This is them being grieved. Please pass a law. Stop them. Stop those Negroes from teaching the Bible. This is how you know we teach the truth. That's what this is coming to. This is how you know that the Bible is working. Coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments is working. This is bringing fear in your enemies. Read. In June, the Florida Department of Education prohibited the teaching of critical race theory. Mm -hmm. Opponents of CRT have blasted it as racist and (laughs) anti-American. So this is what they call it. It's anti-American to teach the truth about what happened in slavery. Right. While supporters claim it adds an essential element of context to racial inequality in American history. (laughs) So let's read on, read on. The Stop Woke Act allows parents to sue educators if their kids are being taught critical race theory in school. Teaching critical race theory will be considered an unlawful employment practice. Ah, they don't want you at your job speaking about the truth. (laughs) Don't (laughs) talk about it because you're not... Is that not violation of freedom of speech? Hey, that's what it is. Really? Like I said, we you really it just it, you no really don't have, freedom ain't of speech. Ain't no such mark. thing. That, that's that's a facade. That's yeah, a that, lie. That's another lie. Yeah, that's another lie that they mm-hmm. spoke when they woke up. <laughs> hey, finish that out because I got a verse. To I do too. <laughs> this 
the governor said makes it clear that corporations and public sector employers violate the Florida Civil Rights Act when they subject their employees to training that espouses race or sex stereotyping or scapegoating, including critical race theory. So pretty much they are violating a Civil Rights Act. Right. This. this is unbelievable. Hey, get up. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms 94 and 20. Get two scripts. That's all right. No, bring it out. Let's get that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 20. Uh-huh. Bring it out. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? This right here is asking, shall the wicked have fellowship with us? Read. Which frameth mischief <laughs> by a law. And that's what they doing. They just made a law that if you teach the truth about slavery, about America, what really happened here, you can be sued. Mind you, they call it the Stop Woke Act. Let's see what God told us to do. Give me uh, Romans 13 and 11. <laughs> the so book they, of Rome. They want you to stay asleep, but let's see what God said do. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. Bring it out. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. The white man says, stop that. Stop it. Stay asleep. Stop <laughs> woke. But God said, wake your behind up. Read wake on. up. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Because our salvation is closer than what we think. And the only way that's going to happen is when you wake up and understand you're the true people of God and what we must do to get the kingdom. Right. But if you if you stop woke, stay if you stay asleep is what that means, then you, we would never come to this. Mm. Hey, give me uh, John 8.32. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. Oh, we're going to learn this truth one way or the other. You're going to hear about it. You're going to mm-hmm. learn this truth. Read. And the truth shall make you free. If you want to be free from your oppressor, you want to be free from death, you want to pre- be free from the oppression that's going on in this earth, come back to God's laws, and it will set you free. Right. Well, our flyer says the truth about critical race theory or slavery. <laughs> the truth that that is exactly slavery. what it's saying. That, that is exactly what that means. People up. Oh, man. I, hey, I'm hey. telling you, they finna, man, you, you see it coming. Our leaders was in the spirit when they created that fly. <laughs> For real. For real. Yeah. Obviously, you got something you want to bring up? No, sir. Read that verse again. It's the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. You're going to learn this truth in these last days because there's been lies throughout this whole earth. And those lies has brought you down to your knees. Your, those lies has brought us down to destruction. We have lost our heritage. We lost our God. And we lost our way. But in these last days, the truth is coming out. Read. And the truth shall make you free. And we're going to get that. We're going to get back that rulership on this earth. We're going to come off and under the impression of our enemies, and we're going to uh, reign on this earth with Christ, the 12 uh, apostles, and 144,000, and we're going to take back control of this earth. Hey, get, uh, one, one more script real quick. Uh, First Kings 8 and 47. I'll pray. Because if your behind don't wake up, there's no way you can repent. So let's read what we must do. Read that. It's the book of First Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Yeah, we only going to read a couple of scripts. We ain't going to read the whole thing. Read this. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether they were carried captive. So how are you going to remember who you are here if you don't, if you don't realize that, that your people was in slavery? So you must remember who you are right here. Read on. And repent uh-huh. and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. Because they put us in slavery. And what we must say? Saying, we have sinned. And have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. Verse 49 now. Then hear thou their prayer. Because until we can acknowledge who we are and repent, God says he ain't even going to hear our prayer. So we must wake up. We can't stay asleep. Read. And their supplication in heaven, thy Uh dwelling place, Uh and maintain their cause. So we must have the Bible to return to the top. If we don't have the Bible, you can't come out of the situation that we in. We don't be stuck here forever. But God already said that we was only going to be here for a time. That's why we read Daniel. Now oh, that time is coming short. That's why they're creating all these laws now. 
That's right. All praises. Hey, this has been a great show. This has been Wartime Radio. My name is Officer Yuanathan. Officer Nehemiah. Officer Aton. Officer hey. Yuanathan. Hey, this is Wartime Radio, WPJM. We said that, we say shalom. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.